All right, time to review another Tesla. Let's see if we can thread the needle and talk about the latest rendition of the Model S without sparking a storm of vitriol from fanboys and detractors. I'm just gonna keep these crossed. Quickly rehashing the essentials, the Tesla Model S is a pure electric car that first went on sale in 2012. Since that time, its basic shape has remained the same. Light stylistic updates have kept it fresh, but foundational functionality is largely unchanged. You don't really lock or unlock the car. Instead, when you walk up, it senses the key in your pocket and presents the door handles to you. Without an engine up front, you have a frunk or front trunk up front. In back, this powered hatch affords easy access to the large cargo area. Underneath the floor, there's a covered area right here where you can store your charging peripherals or flamethrower. And if you want to, maybe take some uh, gear to the Goodwill because you're doing a Marie Kondo style detox. The rear seats flip out, although the door handles won't let me get inside. Come on, Tesla. Come on, Betsy. Flippity. Flippity do! Occupant space is plentiful in front. In the second row, at least with the glass roof, there's plenty of space for my five to 10 inch frame. I do wish there was a little bit more space underneath the front seat for my toes, but I love the fact that the floor is completely flat. So if you sit in the middle position, it ain't so bad because there's no hump for a drive train or exhaust. The Tesla app offers easy access to vehicle controls, plus the ability to summon your vehicle like a cool, sleek automotive Frankenstein. Come, my pretty, come. I'm sad to report Tesla has discontinued the rear jump seats that they used to offer, but if you need seven seats and you don't want to drive an SUV, you can still get jump seats in a Mercedes-Benz E-Class wagon. Inside, there's no start button. You just sit down, Put your foot on the brake, press the stock, and drive away. Ideally closing the door first. And virtually all vehicle controls are handled right through the 17 inch display. We're gonna linger here a while. Tesla have done a masterful job organizing the menu structure, whether tweaking steering efforts, altering regenerative braking intensity, navigating via Google Maps, indulgently pimping your SoundCloud account, pause, 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 or customizing autopilot behavior, the interface is simple to use. If I were to lodge a complaint, it would be that some controls might be better actuated via actual physical controls. For example, let's say your daughter drops a lollipop in the middle of the night and you wanna turn on the dome lights. That's gonna involve a side trip over here to the menu, lights, dome lights sticky. On the other hand, Tesla has a knack for injecting fun into the nooks and crannies of the ownership experience. Let's say you're chilling at a supercharger station. You could read a book like a chump, or you could play classic Atari games on the big screen. Can you imagine how many focus groups and middle managers this would have to make its way through at a normal automaker? Now let's play a little missile command, shall we? Nailed it. That speaks to the prime value in buying a Tesla. With minimal reliance on physical controls, the Model S can offer functionality improvements via over-the-air software updates, often based on owner input. I mean, somebody at Tesla thought the Model S desperately needs a roaring fireplace and a whoopee cushion feature that hilariously activates with the turn signal, and bam, the features were added. Other notable additions include dog mode for keeping your canine comfy while you're away, and sentry mode that plays loud music, alerts the owner via texts regarding threats, and captures video to ward off would-be thieves. All right, we've burned down quite a few minutes talking about all the good stuff. Now it's time for some nuance. <laughs> Tesla has no interest in yielding their screen space to outside parties meaning I wouldn't hold my breath waiting for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto smartphone integration. The thing is, when I ask Siri to play Dancing Queen in nearly any modern car I drive, it does so because I have Apple Music and amazing taste. But in the Model S, when I play Dancing Queen, it pulls up a Dancing Queen themed streaming service, which may or may not play Dancing Queen. You can change your mind. Take a chance. chance. That is a royalty I can't afford. All I'm saying is I would like my digital life to follow me from home into my car. Take a chance. 
Now get out of here before I have to pay money to ABBA. Another oddity is the lack of a 360 degree view when parking, especially since every Model S leaves the factory with an array of eight cameras. Then again, inch specific parking sensors and a highly skilled automatic parking system do an awful lot to ease your parking burden. There are also questions of quality. I mean, is this the caliber of interior you'd find in, let's say, $85,000 worth of Porsche Panamera or Audi A7? Just in poking around our test car, this trim catches my finger, at least on the right side. This cover drags awkwardly against the edges as it opens and closes. And this sealant is probably quite functional, but it also looks like something I could have applied myself. Simply put, if it's a luxury car you want, there are better choices. But the Model S has other charms. For instance, plastering unsuspecting passengers into their seats. The whole conscientious electric car commuter motif obscures the fact that the Model S hauls ass. It turns out electric torque plus all-wheel drive equals the perfect solution for maximum acceleration from a stop. <laughs> if you tire of transforming electrons into joy, you might notice other details like a charming lack of engine noise, ride quality that is decent, though the standard 19-inch wheels would be a smoother choice than our tester's optional $4,500 21-inchers, and cornering abilities that far exceed most vehicles. As I've mentioned before, the steering is a little bit aloof in how it communicates, but if you don't feel like steering, the Model S will happily take over. In basic form, the Model S assists its driver with forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, and side collision warning, but for $3,000 at delivery or $4,000 after purchase, you can upgrade to autopilot. Just look for the little steering wheel icon in the gauge cluster, double pull the little stock, and Enhanced Autopilot will handle the steering, braking, and acceleration for you. I'm ready to intervene. Fun fact, Tesla ditched the Enhanced Autopilot name right after we shot this video. Thanks for the heads up, guys. And to be clear, you need to keep your hands on the wheel and brain engaged, ready to intervene. But it's kind of marvelous watching the system at work. As the driver, all those little icons in the gauge cluster are reassuring. It lets me know that, yes, Autopilot does see the motorcycle coming up behind me on the left. Or the cement mixer up ahead. Spend an extra $5,000 and you can enjoy what Tesla has dubbed full self-driving capability. At the risk of overpromising, I probably wouldn't have titled it that, but it's basically a bundle of features including automatic parking, the previously mentioned summon function, navigate on autopilot, which we'll dive into momentarily, and in the future, automatic driving on city streets with traffic light and stop sign recognition. This is yet another great moment to remind everybody that your Tesla needs constant driver supervision when in motion. With that premise very, very clear, let's dig into navigate on autopilot. Enter a destination into the navigation system and navigate on autopilot will guide you up the on-ramp merge you with traffic, suggest the appropriate lane, which you confirm with the turn signal stock, and then guide you down the off-ramp eventually. Let's see how that goes. Oh, it's going 16 miles an hour. It's angering the person behind us. Oh, this is awkward. Okay, let's see how she merges. Okay, yes, 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 left, left, left. No, oh, God. Some pretty hard braking to make the lane change, which then freaked out the person that was blasting by me on the right. Um, upcoming lane change, it says. Confirm lane change with stock. Going for it. Trying to complete maneuver. Prepare to assist. In some ways, this feels more involved than if I were actually driving. <laughs> to be clear, my hands are touching the steering wheel, but I'm not steering. And my foot is covering the brake, but it's not braking. Having used the system, I can confirm it works with the following caveats. Autopilot won't exceed the speed you've selected, even if doing so would yield a safer lane change. For example, a car is just behind you and to the left. Instead, it'll slow down, sometimes impolitely, waiting for a gap. The system seems to favor the left lane, which is a no-go for me and all of Germany. Keep right except the pass. And if you have the HOV tab activated, it will try to put you in the carpool lane, even if the next interchange is only a couple miles up. So there's an awkward, let's get to the left. Okay, let's get all the way to the right. 
All right, we only got like a mile until we need to get off. Okay, confirm route change. There's a car right next to us. Slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, braking suddenly, panicking, auto lane change canceled. Uh, so it didn't slow down enough just to get behind that Toyota Tacoma. And now I'm gonna miss my off ramp. Okay then. <laughs> I'm just going to intervene here. Thank you very much. Do, 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 do. Sometimes it takes a human to do a robot's job. Yeah! And we made the off-ramp. Very good. That got a little dicey, but I think on a longer stretch, that would make a lot more sense. <clears throat> Go humans. Caveats aside, it's a sweet sample of our driverless future. And, of course, there's always over-the-air updates to elevate the system's finesse. At this point, Tesla has sold enough cars that the federal tax incentives for buying one are slowly phasing out, but there are still state incentives and fuel savings to consider. Ignoring all of that, you can snag a Model S standard range for a touch more than $80,000, including $1,200 in destination charges. That price includes 19-inch wheels, a faux leather interior, an 8-year unlimited mile battery and drive unit warranty, and 0-60 to 60 acceleration in barely more than 4 seconds. In case you don't know, that's quick. Part with an extra $4,000 for the long-range model. For right about $100,000, you can move up to the Model S Performance, offering an estimated 315-mile range and a 0-60 to 60 time of 3 seconds. Need even more speed? Then you'll want Ludicrous Mode, which adds a thematically appropriate $15,000 to the purchase price. With Ludicrous Mode, you can spring from motionless to 60 miles per hour in about 2.4 seconds. The odds of experiencing another vehicle in your daily life that can make that run more quickly, well, that's ludicrous. Escalating even further, there's Ludicrous Plus, which drops 0 to 60 times ever so slightly and enables quarter mile runs in the mid tens. Just hold the Ludicrous button, marvel at the cool graphics, except this uh, semi hilarious uh, disclaimer yes, I will bring it on. No, I don't need my mommy, though I love you, mom. And now just wait an estimated 15 minutes for the battery to heat up. Earlier when I did this, it took about an hour for the battery to heat up. But, uh, you know, you want to go fast? Wait a little bit. In grandest form, you can drop about $130,000 on a Model S. If you prefer, leases are also available. For juicing up, you can plug into a regular wall outlet, but a more practical solution is overnight charging with a 240 volt home charger. For longer journeys, Tesla offers a vast supercharging infrastructure with charging stations pretty much anywhere you need to go in the United States. 30 minutes adds about 170 miles of range, but for a full charge from near empty, you're looking at more than an hour. Note, when traveling cross country, the nav system is smart enough to plan a route that accounts for supercharging stops while incorporating topography, traffic, and other data into its range estimates. Ask an owner or spend time in one, and it's hard not to marvel at the Tesla Model S. Even this late in its life cycle, the S feels futuristic and fresh. It makes electric car ownership sexy, speedy, and desirable. If you've got the cash and you accept its imperfections, the Tesla Model S is a sweet ride. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go play some Atari and brace for angry comments. 